So I finally got it to sink. Got it to work and they're all connected. You can see that it's sinking just fine. It took a, quite a while. So this is in repulsion mode. You can hear the hum, meaning that it's all sunk up. I tried to do it in attraction mode, it wouldn't work. So the next thing would be to be to decouple these, but I did finally get it to work. Hallelujah. So, the ultimate goal is be to put Magnus on the outside of these three cone sections and then put coils here to turn this into a generator. But I did get it to work. Stay tuned. All right, so now that I got this thing to work, I wanted to show you guys some specifics on it. So just like before, when it was in attraction mode, if I moved it slow, it would catch. What's funny though, when I want it to get, when I want it to catch at high speed, it doesn't go this way, it goes that way. See? But now it's going, it's really weird. And then if I go high speed like this, it catches. There we go. Yeah, this has got to get up to speed before that gets up to speed. Let me block the lights out. It's really noisy. Let's see if I can get this sink better. There it goes. Yeah, I gotta get them both up to speed before they'll sink. You can hear it sinking now. Let me turn it off. Yeah, so it's a weird system. It does work every time now, though. Um, the spacing could probably be a little bit tighter, but it's not the same all the way around. So I need to adjust the distance here If I can, um, I think what I need to do is, yeah, I need to shorten one of these and lengthen one of these. These are spacers. I got this side perfect. I'm not really sure if it's perfect that way. But yeah, it's taken a lot to get to this point. This is a beast. But it's really weird. When it catches, it never catches this way like that. And if I spin it that way... Oh, 
Well, I guess it does catch that way. Anyway, it's in repulsion mode, so I need to do a little bit of work. I need to get the spacing better. You can see that it's, I have much more space here than I do over here. So I need to do that. I need to get the spacing better. <clears throat> and I need to try different circuits on it too, but I need to get the spacing better. I also need to fix some of the holes here. I mean, it's nice and sturdy, but just because, <clears throat> excuse me, these stainless steel rods are so long, it's going to be a little bit on the flimsy side. I'm going to see if I can get it to sink that way. Oh, I can. Okay. So I guess I can get it to sink any, any in any direction. But I really want to push this guy that way. So let me play with it and I'll bring you guys back. Stay tuned. Yeah, so I can get it to sink in any direction, so it doesn't matter. Now it's going this way, and this one's going this way. I thought before I could only get it to sink. Let me put those out of the way. They're very bright. I thought I could only get it to sink in one direction, which didn't make any sense to me. But when it gets that pop, 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 pop sound, that perfect cadence, that's how I know it's, it's sunk up and it's going to stay that way. And it does it every time now, so it was just a matter of changing it from attraction to repulsion. And I think if I get the spacing better, it'll just run overall better. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm getting a lot of questions on <clears throat> why why this thing makes so much noise and can I um, fix it so that it's more balanced? First thing we have to remember is this is all 3D printed. 3D printing is great, but it's not like CNC machining. Um, the first reason why is kind of obvious. I mean, if you look at this, these magnets are really strong, and when they hit each other, they're in repulsion mode. They're going to cause a little bit of vibration. The second reason is this end piece here. If you look at it, it kind of goes like that. And it's seated. You can see, I don't know if you can see this lip here. It's seated as far in as it can, and it seems to be the same distance all the way around. But unfortunately, being 3D printed and not being CNC machined, it's, there's, it's going to introduce a little bit of error. And that little bit of error across a large volume is going to increase. It's also sitting on very long stainless steel rods and even though these rods are are stiff there's a little bit of flex in them you can see that right here not much i love how that works i can't believe all i needed to do is change well i needed to fix a lot of things i needed to build a new base um one that was more rigid I needed to re reprint the arms here so that they were better, even though I could have done a better job. Um, so I think the big issue with it right now is this end cap here. Now, what I could do is I could take it off, but I don't think it's the end cap itself that's crooked. I think it's this guy here, this right-hand cone. And also the left-hand cone. They seem to be cocked like this. And I'm not sure why.
the blue cones aren't as bad. So this is white is blue. Yeah, the blue cones aren't as bad. So I think I'm just going to have to live with it the way it is. It works. Um, oh, yeah. So back. So I so I redesigned everything. I made I made it so that. I could put these coils, which are the drive coils, on the ends here without interfering. The other stand, everything was way too crowded. I've got it spaced pretty good because it's working. And again, I don't remember the video that this is copying. I saw some, I don't know, 15 years ago. And I, for the life of me, I can't find it on the internet anymore. I can't find it on YouTube. That's where I saw it. And from what I remember, it was very similar to this. It was much bigger. I don't remember if the cones were uncoupled or decoupled. My memory says they weren't. It was just like this. Of course, those cones didn't have the magnets like this. They had the magnets embedded in the cone, and I believe they were embedded at an angle. I wasn't about to try that. I, I could have done it, but I wanted to get this done. This I actually never really meant to build this guy. Um, this was kind of just sitting in the back of my head for the longest time, and I decided, ah, let me try it. And so... That's when I built this little guy here, just as a proof of concept. Actually, I built this to get the angles for the for these guys. I simply increased the size to get the correct angles because I wanted the angles so that they weren't like this or like this. I wanted them to be parallel. Anyway, let's fire this guy up. So what I have to do is I have to get it going. There it goes. I have to kind of get it going to catch. There it goes. You can hear it when it catches. It makes that bump, 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 bump sound. And... The end goal for this is to put magnets on the periphery of each of these three cones and coils to turn this into a giant, a giant, a giant generator. But I don't think I'm going to do that. The fact that I was able to get it going is really crazy anyway. I gotta be careful when I stop this, but yeah, see how it cogs like that? That's what causes the majority of the noise. Also, too, the bass vibrating, so it's just a big vibration monster. Yeah, so I think that's probably going to be it for now. I got it going. It works. It's working. Um... I don't really know what other experiments I could try with this other than decoupling these so that they all spin freely. So I'll probably try that next. Um, I've got them set up in such a way where it could go either way. It can go that way, or if I go like that, it can go that way. It prefers to want to go that way. I don't know why. But I can sink it that way. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, nope. It doesn't like going, it doesn't like to sink that way. It will eventually. No, it doesn't like to sink that way. Yep, 
Yeah, it likes going in that direction, and I'm not really sure why. It is a noisy bastard, though. Let's slow it down. Anyway, that's probably all I'm going to do with this one in this particular configuration. So I've got the drive coils here on either side. These are magnets. This is just um, a piece of plastic holding the magnet in. Actually, there's, I think there's three, two or three magnets in here. There's three magnets in here, a smaller one down there and then two at this size. And I found that when I first started working on this, that the magnets I had chose to use were really small and there was no way they were going to push this large mass. See, at, at a slow speed, it wants to go that way. And I can get it to sink at high speed, it wants to go that way. Anyway, I'm not really sure why that is. It doesn't really matter. I had the two drive coils. These are the drive magnets. And then the cone itself connects to everything and causes it to rotate. I really wish... And I did try to fix this part right here, this little wobble. But again, it's not this piece, it's the cone itself. So maybe when I decouple these, well, it won't really matter then because I'll be able to, they'll just free wheel themselves. All right, let me think about how I'm gonna decouple these. Um, I'll have to take the whole thing apart because these uh, these little cylinders right here on both of them connect these together. You can see they're screwed in there. I can't just unscrew these and they'll free wheel. I have to take them apart because they're press fit. And there's a bearing here and a bearing here. And I believe I put a bearing in the middle too. But that, I mean, that shouldn't be too hard. I can use collets like these to press up against the cone there and hold it so that it will free wheel. All right, stay tuned.